So regarding the colon and um, the rest of the gut, you know, for a, a long time, I was just thinking of the colon as being an independent organ because there's just so many products that are for like herbal laxatives or for cleaning the parasites out of the gut. But we can't forget that when you fix that anything, any problem digestive wise, you start north and then you head south. So fixing the colon, like the end of the colon is the, you know, the, the, the rectum and then going up is the cecum, sigmoid colon, descending colon. So all these anatomical parts, they can be affected by taking something orally or they could be affected by infections in the ears. And I've seen it, I've seen it clinically. So when we talk about the colon, we can't just talk about that alone. And I used to, as a matter of fact, when I gave this lecture last year, I pretty much stuck with the colon, but that's too sort of like short-sighted. I got, I just grabbed a bunch of supplements and I'm gonna start with the obvious. Okay, something like C colon, this is from Systemic Formulas. It's a little bit of a laxative, but this is designed to also um, heal the frequency of the colon. So when they make these, pro when they, these products were designed by systemic formulas, they put together herbs and they actually measured the frequency of the final product to match the normal healthy frequency of the organ that they're addressing. So there's not many companies that do that. Cellcore does it, something like that. And then um, systemic formulas. Now this can fix constipation and diarrhea, right? So it's not just like a laxative. And then from uh, Mediherb, um, they have Colax right there. Colax, which has a collection of herbs also to heal the gallbladder and the, um, and the liver. And then chamomile, for example, to heal the inside of the, of the large intestine. Um, yellow dock root, I think, is antimicrobial. There's dandelion for the liver. Here's a really good intestinal cleanse number one, herbal laxative. It works every time. It works for everybody. You just have to get the correct dosage. Uh, some people, I've had some people up to nine a day, and then they can cut back a little bit. But I've heard of people taking up to 30 a day because their constipation was so bad. So intestinal cleanse number one. And then here's bowel mover from Cellcore. Big fan of this. It also has wormwood in it to kill parasites. This can kill parasites. <clears throat> and then Do Dr. Todd Watts said, this is designed to reinstate the peristalsis into the large intestine. So the idea here is that when you have better products, they have a collection of herbs that do more than just get the bowels working. You know, they actually try to fix other things that could be de determining or causing the constipation. This is CT Biotic. We're going to change gears here a little bit. So CT Biotic from Cellcore, this product is a probiotic, but the probiotics in this are designed to eat away at plastic and oils, like motor oil kind of oils. So we hear of a oil spill in the ocean, and they may be adding probiotics to the ocean to try to eat away at, the, at that garbage. That's what this is. So this is a detox product. It's not like uh, there's, there's nothing like it on the market. There's a lot of probiotics that try to replenish the um, normal microbiome. But this, you know, is trying to replenish the normal microbiome by cleaning toxins out of the actual intestinal wall. So then that brings me to the GI Adsorb, and so this is from Standard Process, and they came out with this within the last 12 months, I think. And it's kind of the same idea, but it's not probiotics. It's actually uh, the fulvic and humic acid. Okay, now I don't think this is as good as the cell core fulvic and humic acid, but you get the idea. It's like to actually clean out the in intestinal wall because the intestinal wall can get pretty beat up. And when you're eating food, you can have Roundup in it and, you know, other pesticides, herbicides, uh, chemical um, additives to the food for preserving and flavor enhancing. And they can be large enough that they don't pass into the body, but they're stuck inside the intestinal wall. Speaking of that, um, Cellcore is coming out with this amazing product in August next month. And it's going to be called Drainage Activator. I'll have to talk about that next month. It is fantastic. It's, anyways, just for later. So this is another product for the gut small intestine and large, gastrex. So it's got um, okra, <clears throat> okra in it. And just think of okra as like being that sticky, um, mucusy type of, of, it's a fruit. And it coats and soothes the intestinal wall. This can get rid of um, inflammation and it can heal the gut. So people that with heartburn, for example. Um, there's another product from Standard Process called Chlorophyll Complex Pearls. I've had that actually fix anal fissures. So just, I had a woman take three a day and 
the chlorophyll inside those little pearls, they open up in the stomach or lower. Can you grab gut flora? And um, chlorophyll, it's the green stuff in plants. It's very healing and, and it can build your blood because the uh, chlorophyll looks like a, a basket, molecular basket, which is exactly like the red blood cells, um, the heme. Anyways, uh, just very healing for the uh, tissues of the large intestine, small intestine, both gastrics and chlorophyll. Now, more about healing the uh, actual intestinal uh, tissue. Here we have this idea of fixing leaky gut. So here's L gut from systemic formulas to fix leaky gut. And it has intestine in it from lamb and a variety, a variety of other ingredients known to fix leaky gut. So glutamine, and then there's a lion's mane mushroom, apple cider vinegar is in here. Golden seal, which is antimicrobial, spearmint, antimicrobial, licorice for the liver, black radish, which is a cleaner, calcium butyrate, which I'm going to talk about butyrate in a second, but that fixes leaky gut, turmeric, there's a lot of things in here. Um, so there's the uh, duodenal tissue factors, so DNA, duodenal tissue. So that's part of fixing leaky gut is um, eating intestine, whether it's from lamb or cow. So on that note, here's IPS, intestinal permeability support. And when I read through this, it's got the glutamine. It's got Spanish moss, which is more of a mineral product. There's the lamb intestine, glutathione's in there. And then here's the L-glutamine. So L-glutamine being um, an amino acid. So here's three different products from two different companies that to fix the leaky gut itself. Medier came out with this product, Gut Flora, years ago. And it went uh, on back order for the last two years, and we're just getting it back, like this week. And we do have these uh, samples. But the point of gut flora, I'm such a, I was such a fan of this before. The um, pearl that holds the liquid inside, the pearl is like a, I'm, I'm going to use the word time release. I don't know if that's absolutely correct. But it doesn't release until lower in the gut. So a lot of um, capsules will open up in the stomach, and people start burping it up. They can feel it. And that's, you know, it's fine. Like if you need to help, if you need help with the stomach itself, um, it should open up in the stomach. But this is more for like the, the lower gut and you have like 20 some feet of intestinal tract. So if you want to get all the way down, then that's where this gut flora comes into play. And it has um, oregano in it, which is the killer. And it has um, berberine in it. And berberine can form butyric acid in the gut to heal the leaky gut. And then here I have tribut tributyrin supreme butyric acid. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Like it's in the research. If you want to fix leaky gut, there's a variety of nutrients. You just put them together. And these, these guys that put these together, they're really smart. <laughs> and I've met many of them. And it's fun to talk about it because they, they, think, they, they think straight. Let me put it that way. Um, now I mentioned black radish in one of those earlier products. I think it was elk gut. So let's talk about black radish. So standard process says Spanish black radish. And this is, we, I've been a fan of this for 25 years. And then other companies mimic what standard process does because they're the, ori they're the original back from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. And then there's a Spanish black radish from uh, Physica, I'm sorry, Energetics, core black radish blend is what they call that. Okay, but same idea. This is a liquid, this is a, a tablet. So Spanish black radish, is basically a radish, it's black, it's from Spain, and it's got a lot of sulfur, it's a root vegetable, it soaks up water from the ground. So when you take it orally, it's soaking up water and mucus and pus out of your gut, and the sulfur that's in the radish helps your liver clean up blood. So you can think of it as a blood cleaner, but it's, I've seen it stop some cases of diarrhea. And then when you're killing parasites and cleaning out your gut, it can really help a lot by um, gathering up all those toxins and debris and stuff and cleaning it out. And I tested you on Spanish black radish, didn't I? Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Let's um, jump over to enzymes. And everybody, there's a, every nutrition practice has enzymes. And we carry, I don't know, eight or nine, 10, I don't know how many. We carry a lot of enzymes. I just brought two. So Intenzyme Forte and then Bromelain Plus CLA from uh, Biotics. And <clears throat> so you can take these with food to digest the food, which is very therapeutic for some people, or you can take them on an empty stomach and they can eat up unwanted proteins and clean the gut, clean the blood, 
clean debris. And so it can like straighten out bowel movements. So if something is sloppy, too wet or something, enzymes can actually fix it up. Or if you take too many, then you could cause diarrhea. You know, you got to get the right dose. But these are both cleaners. Okay, switching gears. This is parotid PMG. This supplement right here from Standard Process is um, to fix this gland in the cheek, the parotid gland right there. So this gland tags or identifies toxins and tags them. And so when those toxins that go into your gut, your body has an easier time detoxifying when this gland is healthy. Okay. So when I first took any detox product, it was this one in what was the year 2004 or five. And when I got muscle tested, the guy that tested me, he found pesticides and he used to work on the farm. I've been poisoned by pesticides before. And he put me on this. I, th I took a lot, but like two months later, I could, I doubled my pull-ups and I quadrupled my push-ups. So I just had better energy, better endurance from head to toe because I was removing a lot of toxins because this gland was working better. Cool. It's a head to toe detox idea, right? It's not just colon. Cause if this gland's not working good, those toxins go all the way in and they can wreak havoc and throughout the body. Are you learning stuff? Are you learning stuff? Okay, good. Parotid PMG, parotid P-A-R, here, look. Is that P-A-R-O-T-I-D, parotid gland. I, I, I keep shifting gears here, but let's stay up here. So I've had three women have lifelong constipation get resolved in one week by addressing their teeth and their mouth. So that's why I have, we are starting to sell these very small, portable, handy um, water picks. All right, it's in the packaging, but you get the size of it. And then you got the water picks, the different heads on them, and you just charge them on a USB port or not even a, yeah, yeah, USB port. So it charges off your laptop or whatever. So, um, and then in that water reservoir, you can add in the distilled water, hydrogen peroxide and salt. Look, it's even got our logo on it. How cool is that? Fancy, huh? Took a long time to find somebody who could do that. So the hydrogen peroxide is a killer for of organisms. So just a little bit of that, I got a recipe. And then the salt makes the water easier on the mucosal membranes in the mouth. Okay, so that's it, those three ingredients. But yeah, it's pretty amazing when I had the three women, they got rid of their li lifelong constipation. Is, it's hard to get rid of, but maybe the problem is right here and it's been there ever since they did their first swig of the fluoride in school. Remember when they did that? Like that can cause, that's antimicrobial, can cause dysbiosis of the mouth. So let's talk about probiotics. So I had the moldy office, but I also had a moldy house at the same time for six or seven years. The moldy office caused heart pain and was going to kill me. The moldy house only caused constipation. And I tried a hundred different pro probiotics, whether I took them orally or I did muscle testing to find out if they would help me. And, the, and then at some point, ProSymbiotic came out from standard process. And I forgot the year that this came out, but this worked. Like in, on the second day, I had like five bowel movements and I walked into a room with a patient and he said to me, you look better now than you have in years. I was like, cause I was pooping, prosymbiotic. I'm a big fan. Most probiotics don't work. Megaspore bi Biotic, a different company. Orthospore IG, a different company. Um, these are spore-based probiotics, which is different than other kind of probiotics. Don't ask me about more details about that because I don't know. But I want to talk about this one too, Interphase from Ther, uh, from yeah, from Therbiotic. This is so unique. So this is designed to break up biofilm and the biofilm being made from parasites, bacteria, fungus, candida. So, so the biofilm is their home. And so when you break it up, now you're exposing the organisms to your immune system and your body has an easier time detox, you know, getting them out. So my girlfriend tested me on this and I took five a day back in February. And, you know, I didn't feel any different initially. And then I was in Cancun for a cell core seminar in, at the end of February and my legs were super weak. My heart was a zero. And then we went to a national park where they had the big sea turtles. Did you hear the story before? No. 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 
so we're walking through this park and I, I could I could fall to the right and fall into the water or I could fall to the left onto the cliff side like my legs were not stable at all I was I wanted to go zip lining I want to do all these cool things and all I could afford to do was like sit on a beach chair underneath the umbrella so I wouldn't get a, a sunburn is because I was taking five a day of this and that mold was re circulating through my body because it was being exposed because the biofilm was going away and as it's going through my blood again it's hitting my heart it's hitting my muscles and ugh, it's horrible so i stopped this and two days later i felt better and um so that's end of february so march april may by the beginning of may i was back you know i was doing really good in the gym i was feeling really strong and then at the end of May, I went to Boise for a seminar for the eat for the another cell core seminar. And I got back from that. That was five days of travel. It was pretty intense. And then I felt weak again. And I felt weak again. So I needed to still do some more like cleansing of this, which I did. And anyways, this is the trials and tribulations of getting better. You can take too many of a product or take too little of a product. And you got to balance that out. Make sure that the drainage is good. Make sure that your body can handle the detox. That's just how that goes. So that's life. That's life in the natural healthcare world. Let's talk about killers now. Okay, so you can see in these three pictures, <clears throat> this is my patient. And in this story, she came to me with a horrible skin condition from head to toe. And you can see it's really red and flaky here and burning, itching. And she had this uh, since she was seven years old. And then it would turn to oozing and it was looks smooth there and it's wet. And then it would go back to normal for a day, but it cycled like this weekly and just misery for years. And when she came in, I asked her the question, when did this start? And she said, it started, or she goes, it, it's been really bad for six months. I said, but when did it start? And she said, uh, when I was a teenager and her mom was in the room and the mom says, no, this started when you were seven. And I said, well, what happened when you were six? What happened just before that, that may have started this. And the mom said that they were in the Middle East, which is where they're from, they were visiting, and she got food poisoning. So on the flight back to the United States, to home, she was so sick that they had to stop the plane in London and let her off because she was vomiting and she had diarrhea so bad. And then a few months after that, the eczema started, and then the eczema turned into that. I'm going to let this run a little bit. So you can see this is her cheek. And then four weeks later, her cheek, her cheek looks like this. And she came in today. She's, she looks beautiful. Like it's amazing. It's now it's been what six, seven weeks. Um, and she said that she can be out in the sun. That, that's the one thing that really bugged her the most. One of the things that really bugged her was being out in the sun because it would make this worse. But today she said she was out in the sun multiple times throughout the week with no bad reactions. Let's talk about killers now. Okay, I've talked a lot about para one and two. That'll be back, that'll be in August, September. Here's VRM1 from uh, systemic formulas to kill parasites. This is ADP, this is oregano, super strong smelling. I love this product. And core olive leaf from Energetics. These are all killers. That's the general idea um, from different companies, different products. This is the VRM1 in liquid form. This is more concentrated. So CX stands for concentrated. Okay, so there's the capsule and then the concentrated version. Now with this one, you could do oral drops, You know, five drops I think equals one capsule. And then with this, you can also put it in your ear, on the mastoid bone, sinuses. You can put it into the navage and put it up into your sinuses. So then the last set of products I have is related to the um, gallbladder. So beta TCP from Biotics, then LB liver from Systemic Formulas, and Advanced Tucka from Cellcore. So they all have different personalities. Again, another cool thing about my profession, LB liver, I love this product. It doesn't test as often as um, the, the Tudka. Um, and again, we have more products for gobbler than, than just these three, but this is so gentle and it's LB is liver and gallbladder, the B for bladder, I guess you could say. Um, but the advanced Tudka is just one ingredient. It's, it's Tudka, well, it's, it's Tudka plus a few ingredients for driving it deeper into the body. So it's got a little bit of melatonin to drive it into the body and um, uh, fulvic acid to protect it as it goes through the stomach and the bile. 
So the stomach is acidic, the bile is alkaline, and you want this tutka to survive through the changes of the pH, and that's why it's got folic acid in it. But what this does, it makes the liver make 250% more bile, tutka. Tutka is a bile acid, and when it's presented to the liver, the liver goes, oh, I'm gonna make more. So it makes more bile. Um, beta TCP and um, does this one have, uh, yeah, beetroot. These both have beetroot in it. Why? Because they are based off of beta food from standard process and AF beta food from standard process, which have beetroots in it. So it was Dr. Royal Lee that figured out that beets help the liver. Maybe people knew it before, but he put it into a pill form and these guys just copied, copied them. So I'm currently on AF beta food. I love it. And I think that the, um, when I took that interface and it exposed the mold mycotoxins by breaking up bi biofilm, I think they hit my liver really hard and my liver kind of like slowed down. So um, the AF beta food is helping me clean that out of my own body. All right, cool. All right, good. So that was fun, the colon. And here I am talking, you know what? I, I, next time I talk about liver and kidneys. So there's gonna be re some repeating of some of that information. But we gotta think like north to south. And some people are so desperate for relief of constipation, we just think south, right? So bowel mover. There's another one called Super Allo 450 and another one called Super Allo 250. Same company, 450 is the big, heavy sledgehammer and the 250 is not so, not so harsh. But again, those always work, the Super Allo 450. And just like the um, intestinal cleanse, it's just more about the, the matter of the dosage. Now the super aloe 450 is only cape aloe. That's it, that's all that's in it. But it's concentrated and it'll make you go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes one is too many. Okay, so then you go to the super aloe 250. Sometimes people have such bad constipation that they wanna take too much of the herbal laxative. And now they have diarrhea four times a day, which for them is better than having constipation and then having one bowel movement every three days, right? That makes sense. Um, but, the, but the idea, and that's in their initial healing program, right? Eventually you want three regular bowel movements per day, normal stool, that's the goal. When I, when I teach muscle testing in this office, I have a, a a board, I'm gonna pull it up here, it's down here. And we hold this up and we're showing people when you do muscle testing, you have to know the anatomy and then you have to know like where the reflexes for that organ would be. So for example, the thyroid, obviously when you're doing muscle testing, you just touch where the thyroid is. You know, don't overthink it, there it is. And then there's the thymus gland underneath the sternum and there's um, the lungs like that, okay? And when it comes to the intestines, there's a lot of territory down there in the gut. So when we do muscle testing, we're testing like, I'm gonna do it like this. So we got the um, ascending colon over here, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon like that. And to test the small intestine, we're going like a claw over the small intestine like that. Now, if somebody has a specific area of pain, then we just have them put their fingers like right on that spot. So they say, oh, I got pain right here. So I have them poke at it, that way they can, and I want them to actually if they can recreate the pain. Um, maybe there's a parasite right there or something, but I have a patient now and she's talking about pain in the lower abdomen, like way low abdomen. And it'd be a 10 out of 10, like for years. And then two months ago, three months ago, she went keto, all the pain went away. And then she quit it and the pain came back. And then she started with me as a new patient one week ago and she went keto and it, all the pain's gone. So in that case, ketosis fixes her abdominal pain. I don't know exactly what's happening physiologically there, but it's a, you know, it's good. It's a good story. <laughs> so let me talk about this. I talked about this before. I created this based on the work of the founders of medicine back in the 19 teens through the fifties. And they all said the same thing. They said, treat the cause of your condition and the mechanism or mechanisms, plural. But the, at the time they only talked about one mechanism. And then you got to fix organs or repair or uh, you want to feed organs to get rid of symptoms right here so when you're feeding the organs i wrote ketosis and fasting 
right there. Here's homeopathy, here's glandular therapy, meaning eating glands, um, whole food nutrition, herbs, stem cells, DNA, and the PMGs from standard process. But in this case with this woman, she went into ketosis and it fixed her symptom. Okay, she's still a new patient for me and I'll probably find some pathogens there later, right? Um, her, her excess sugar irritates the area and maybe there's some toxins in there, but she eliminated the excess sugar with the ketogenic diet. So she got rid of that and then her intestinal pain went away, right? But there's probably some pathogens there. There's probably some toxins there, okay? Um, and then with her ketogenic diet, she's fixing lactic acidosis, the most common mechanism of chronic disease. Cool. And I do have to say, we have new carpet in this conference room since Monday. And I know I've done this so many times that it's, it's 7.09. My nose would be a little congested and I'd be like snorting up mucus from the back of my throat because the carpet is on concrete and there's going to be moisture from the earth below. And there wasn't a, a barrier so the carpet would absorb water just enough, right? To have like a, a bit of a smell. We would walk up and down this hallway thinking, why is it smell in there? And we would vacuum and the smell would go away temporarily. But we just realized like, what I did was I took a Kleenex and I was testing one of my employees, Anastasia. And I took that Kleenex and I rubbed it on the carpet on the floor. And I held it, you know, I, said, I said, hold this underneath your nose and smell it. So she went like this and her arm was weak. So I did it. And um, I had, think I had her push on my arm and my arm was weak. So we had a mold inspector and he goes, well, look at the rafters. He goes, I think there might be some problem in the rafters. No, he was wrong. It's all the carpet. So anyways, look, see? Okay, what's your favorite broad spectrum gut antimicrobials? Well, the gut flora when it comes out, the ADP and the para 2 from Cellcore, high dose pair two for some people, 12, 20 a day to keep at home or take for travel in case of unpredictable gut infections. Yeah. Okay. So to keep at home or for travel, I would say pair two, number one is, was, is pair two. And um, for travel, <clears throat> for travel, you should take pair three because when you're traveling, I've had two cases of people who were in uh, Mexico for vacation <clears throat> and they were in the pool during the day. And then, you know, you come up to your room at five o'clock to get ready for dinner. These two people, different families, different trips. They didn't know each other. Both were men and they were older and they were up getting ready for dinner and they started talking funny and they started getting confused. They got parasites in their brain from the pool. And the one guy, he's like, when, when they got home, he would leave the house and start knocking on neighbor's doors, talking gibberish. Yeah. Both these guys were new patients for me within a one month period. So that's, that's where pair three comes into play because those parasites in a matter of hours hit the brain. Okay. So pair two for the gut and pair three for the whole body. The, the ADP is so, when you smell it, you know, it's killing, it's killing everything, you know? And when they make it in the uh, factory in Texas, they have to tell the town that they're going to make ADP. They make it on a Friday, and then they open up the door so it can air out all day Saturday and Sunday. And the town smells like oregano. That's how strong it is. Do, I, do you like biocidin? Uh, we don't sell biocidin. And I had it once for one patient. I wasn't overly impressed. I've never been overly impressed with biocidin. Okay, now keep in mind when you're um, using antimicrobials, you're always thinking like, what's behind the chronic infection? And usually it's a chemical toxicity. So virad chem binder and carboxy. Yeah, so the, the chemical toxicity lays the groundwork or the, the, the soil for organisms. And then when drainage activator comes out next month from Cellcore, I'm gonna say drainage activator right up there with carboxy and virad chem binder. And of course, diet, no sugar. Is it a good idea to take probiotics along with para two and three type stuff? I don't really find it to be that necessary. And there's so much talk about how the um, gut microbiome needs to be di diverse. I don't think that's true. I don't think it needs to be diverse. Now, if you take a probiotic and it solves your constipation, then good. If it solves your, you know, decades, right? Of me seeing patients, 
they got skin rashes and their probiotic isn't working. You know, pick the disease. Allergies. People come in, they're like, I'm on this probiotic for my allergies. Is it working? And they don't even think about it. They just take it because they read an article. And it, no, it's not working. They came in to see me for their allergies and I have to fix their allergies. So is it a good idea to take probiotics? No, I give that a C minus or a D plus, that idea of taking probiotics with para two and three type stuff. But drainage, right? Drainage is an A plus idea. So if you say start taking antimicrobials, and now you're dragging, your whole body's heavy and you're tired, brain and body tired. That means your lymphatic system is congested. And so that's where the um, lymph active comes in, lymph nest, other products that we have. Other questions? What? The lymph nest. It's like when you start getting a cold or whatever. Right. So just to repeat for everybody on Zoom, when, did, when was this? Uh, Friday. So you went to allergists? Okay, and they said the solution is five years of allergy shots. Yeah, th that's been their operation for decades is five years of, and you went there for grass allergy, you said? Yeah, I got tested. Yeah, you got tested and grass allergy came up. Grass and trees. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so it didn't work back when you were in your 20. Okay. Um, yeah, so again, it's music parasites cause the... Um, Allergies, whether it's a food allergy or seasonal allergies, right? Which is what I found last time, right? Yeah. Okay. Today I had a patient and I found parasites in her spinal column. And uh, she's had a variety of scary potential diagnoses, one being pancreatic cancer, another one being lung cancer, or maybe pancreatic cancer with metastasis to the lungs. Well, her there is an enzyme, I'm sorry, a blood marker for pancreatic cancer called CA19-9. Hers was 75, and then I got it down to 25. And then the nodule in her lung has shrunk, right? And it's parasites, it's, it's organ dysfunction, it's body dysfunction. And she's been eating a low-carb diet for two years or however long she's been seeing me for. So every doctor has their opinion, even though they have the same lab tests and the same scans, they all voice their own opinion. Isn't that right? <laughs> you just went through that. And they're like, I'm going to, can I say some words about what they said to you? So it turns out to be probably most likely a hemorrhoid with some blood coming out and they just jumped on it's colon cancer, bring the kid in, the kids come into the hospital. Look, your dad's really sick. We're going to do chemo beginning tomorrow. And it's like, wait a minute, call my wife, call Dr. Schmidt. And I was like, well, you got to get like an actual laboratory significant diagnosis instead of just because they'll throw chemo and radiation at you without a good diagnosis. And, um, and then they scared your kids, right? Like when I, I got that little spot right there from mold and my, the doctor said, it's probably melanoma. And I said, how do you, why do you say that? She goes, cause it's changing. I said, but I'm pooping parasites. You know, I'm, I'm taking supplements. And uh, she goes, well, you have to get a biopsy, which I refuse. I have not, I never got the biopsy. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I hear these stories. And I, I don't know if I said this last time on Zoom, but I have a patient who she was holding a box of frozen vegetables over her head and it dropped it and it hit her in the head. And then her arms went numb, both of them. And then this one got better, but this one stayed numb. So then what? Well, get the x-ray, get the CT scan, get the MRI, go see an orth orthopedic surgeon, go see a neurologist. You know, and one of the doctors said it's probably MS. I'm like, no, wait, you hit your head with a 30 pound box of broccoli or whatever. You need a chiropractor. And I said to her, I think they're passing you around so that they can get their income. They're all needing the income. And I am thinking in my head, she's got Blue Cross Blue Shield. So I asked her, what's your insurance? Blue Cross Blue Shield. <laughs> it's not Humana. <laughs> it's not one of those crappy ones. And I told her, I, I said, they're passing you around so they get their income. She goes, yeah, I, th I thought I was being used for that. So anyways, I sent her to my chiropractor here and then some supplements to help heal the nervous system. It's not MS. She'll be fine. Okay, more questions? Pain in the right shoulder area, right side of neck, is gallbladder liver? Usually, yes, it's gallbladder liver. And even if somebody has trauma and it's not healing, there's gonna be some gallbladder liver involvement. 
because people always have their excuse. Oh, I, I throw with my right hand. It's a shoulder injury from sports. Yeah, but why did it not heal? Gallbladder, liver. Hi, Dr. Schmidt. Can gastritis cause heart symptoms? Yes. And that's why heartburn is called heartburn because it's a digestive symptom <clears throat> manifesting as a heart problem. So absolutely. I fix heart symptoms by fixing the gallbladder, liver, stomach. What's the best lab test for Lyme? Vibrant America has their tick-borne illness 1.0. Absolutely the best test. And you can find it on my website. And it's, um, I think the price is 704, 700 bucks. And if you want to double that, you get tick-borne 2.0. And you get double the, uh, the tests. How about if I show that? It's been a while since I've shown. So I'm going to share the screen. Brave browser. Share. Go to my website, the NHCAA.com. Order labs up here. Click on that. And it goes to this portal. And then Tickborn 1.0, 704. There's Tickborn 2.0, 1320. Click on that. You just order it that way. And it has, you know, here's what it does. And it's testing for these things. Lyme, tick-borne relapsing fever, other common tick-borne co-infections, including Babesia, Bartonella, anaplasmosis, and ehrlichiosis. So it's, tick, it's uh, Lyme plus co-infections. And we go to the hospital, they test for Lyme, and that's kind of it. So they're missing the co-infections. Okay, more questions? Okay, cool. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, it's 7.23, and July 26, I believe, is where we'll talk about, yeah, two weeks from now, we're going to talk about um, liver and kidneys regarding drainage that will also involve the gallbladder. And when I was in school, they called the gallbladder the great mimicker because it mimics so many other diseases. So uh, right shoulder and posterior shoulder, shoulder blade pain, right knee pain, it can cause constipation, it can cause all the heart symptoms, they can cause diarrhea and fatty stools, you know, just a variety of symptoms all from the uh, gallbladder. But then the, and we'll talk about the kidneys too. Kidneys are pretty delicate as far as detoxing, um, but we, gotta, we have to make sure that they're working good. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna end off here. Thank you. See you in two weeks for the rest of, uh, for gallbladder, kidney, liver. Okay, bye. So just to orient where we're at, we're, we're in drainage right here. And we're talking about the large intestine, colon, fixing the gut. And now we're at colon here. And then in two weeks, kidney, liver, and then after that, lymphatic system. So that's all about drainage. So drainage is about making the body's organs work correctly. And these organs are the ones that clean on their own. So, so these, one, two, three, four, plus sinuses, plus lungs, plus skin. The gallbladder can be involved with the liver. They work together. So there's a lot of drainage organs, but the skin, sinuses, lungs are secondary. The primary ones are kidney and liver and colon. And that lymphatic system is kind of a, in its own unique category because it's the sewer system of the whole body. And I'm testing that like every single patient visit, every single time. 